uh, we have had lots of questions. So if you have texted in a question or if you wrote a question for the box here, uh, prepare yourself because your question may well be coming up in the next few minutes. Is it mine to start with? Your start. Can we have the first question, please? Does God eat or does he have no stomach? Question. Good question. From Michael. Um, thank you for your question, Michael. Uh, does God eat? Um, I think the thing is about uh, understanding what God's like, and what's really interesting is Michael's used the pronoun he in there as well. We don't, I don't think God is a man that sits on a cloud, all right? I think God is God, and God is a unique being that is like no other. But because we've got little tiny weeny brains, some of us are more tiny brains than others, um, we have to understand God in the only way we know how to understand God, which is in human terms. It's a little bit like, on I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, when people eat those disgusting things that they eat, you know, kangaroos bits and all that sort of stuff, they go, oh it tastes like chicken, it doesn't taste like chicken, kangaroos rude bits taste like kangaroos rude bits. Chicken tastes like chicken. Do you see what I mean? But they say, say it tastes like chicken because it's the only thing they can understand and compare it to. And that's what we do with God. What we do with God is we say, oh, God's a father. God's a, God's a he. God's, a, God's not any of those things. God is God. But we can only understand God in human terms. Does that make any sort of sense? <laughs> so does God have a stomach? I have no idea. But because we understand God in human terms, we try and think of him as a person and as a man and as a with a stomach and fingernails and ears and stuff. But I don't think God's like that at all. But I'm really looking forward to finding that. Although not soon. The next question. Right, okay. Solve that. Oh, I'm, my maths is absolutely dreadful. I, um, I barely scraped through my GCC maths. So I'm not even looking at that. Can anybody solve that? Who's Thomas that texted that one in? Thank you, Thomas. And then wrote it down, that one was written down. Just me. I don't even know my times tables. I don't even so know my times tables. Don't have an answer. Don't know my times tables. It's not here. Minus five. Someone's flashing at the answer, minus five. Minus five. <laughs> Thanks, tech guy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Right, next question. Yeah, don't have times tables, so. Uh, Will praying help illnesses? Great question, Francis. Will praying help illnesses? Um, do I think... Do I think that God heals everybody? No, we know that, don't we? Because we pray for poorer people and they don't get better and that makes us really sad and upset. Um, but I think praying helps everybody and I think sometimes um, praying can be a please prayer, please God heal my friend, but it can also be a shout or a, or a getting really angry with God. I quite often do that. I quite often go to a field and have a big old shout because I bury people for a living and sometimes the people that I bury are not very old at all and that makes me really sad and I wonder where God was in all that. But do you know when Jesus was on the cross, he said lots of things on the cross and one of the things he said was, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? So if Jesus hung on a cross and said, where's God? If he did that, then surely we can too. So um, does it help? I think prayer does help, but I don't know why God doesn't heal everybody. But I'll ask him when I get there. But not too soon. Not too soon. Do you know he's going to be really fed up with me when I get there? <laughs> no, he won't. He'll love it. <laughs> Next question. Where are your slippers? Where are my slippers? They're in the shoe cupboard at home. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> nice and easy. Next one. Uh, did Adam and Eve go to heaven or oh. from a nonny mouse? A nonny mouse thing. A nonny mouse. Um, I love that. Uh, did Adam and Eve go to heaven or not? I don't know. Um, it's not our place to judge, is it? So I don't know. Um, I'm not even sure, and there's a bishop in the house, I have to be careful. I'm not even sure if Adam and Eve were literal people. I wonder whether it's a symbolic story, but I don't know that either. But I think we're figuring stuff out. Um, did they go to heaven or not? I think that if Adam and Eve are beyond redemption, then there's not much hope for any of us. Um, but I'm a great believer in sort of, um, yeah, letting people, leaving, leaving, that, leaving that to God, really. But yeah. I, did? I don't know. I'm not very good at this, am I? That's me. That's the trouble you see. That's the trouble with belief and faith, isn't it? That's the trouble with Christian faith. So people come to it and think, oh, I'm going to get all the answers now. And you often leave with just more questions. Yeah? yeah? yeah you often turn true. up at church thinking, hi, I'm going to get all the answers here. If you turn up to church thinking you can get all the answers, you're probably going to be disappointed because you're probably going to end up with more questions. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. 
Right, next question. And you don't, you have to... Who's my favourite bishop? Yeah, and you don't have to feel the here. He's not even listening. He's not even listening. He's not even listening. Um, who's my favourite bishop? Uh, uh, there is. Bishop of Manchester's brilliant, I love him. Uh, bishop of Manchester, David Walker is really super. And I like, oh, I just said you, but you weren't listening. <laughs> He uh, never wears socks. He only wears sandals without socks. And in, even in snow, I've seen him in sandals in, in the snow. And I think that takes a certain kind of craziness. And I like that. Also, once he saw me at the ordination of the uh, Berlin, first bishop, uh, first one bishop, he saw me. And um, lots of other bishops were like shaking around going, hello, Kate, hello, Kate, which is what happens to me a lot. And he just went, yeah! We ran to each other and embraced each other like we just met on the train station platform and I liked that he would have no embarrassment at all about like picking up and squeezing and like that. Was it in slow motion? Uh, kind of no, but there was a Daily Mail photographer there at the time. Of course. <laughs> of course. Of course. Next question. Thought, we got packed. I loved it. Uh, what advice would you give a teenage version of yourself? Buff Andrew. From Buff Andrew. <laughs> to, be, to be modest and no humility, Andrew. Um, what advice would I give a teenage version of myself? Um, I would say to the teenage version of myself, um, st stop worrying so much what other people think and do stuff for the audience of one. God. Um, so stop worrying too much and also um, uh, when that guy asks you out, say yes. Because <laughs> I really... No, not you. Not you. Um, was it really... Yeah. Um, so yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Don't, stop worrying so much, Kate, about what other people think. That links with another question I want to add in, that a few people have asked um, if they feel as though they're being called to do something in particular, yeah. like a job <gasps> or something else. Love it. What do they do? Well, you know about that, don't you? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Um, it, you need to... So when you get called to something, often it's not just you that thinks it, it's other people that think it. So you need to be, you need to be called as well um, by whichever community you're in. So it's when other people start saying the same thing to you. So if you think you're called to be, I don't know, a pirate, <laughs> and everybody else starts saying, you'd make a really good pirate, then you should probably take that seriously. <laughs> Why, what's a pirate's favourite shop? Oh, oh gosh! It's my favourite private <laughs> pirate joke. Um, because it is. Because it is. <laughs> well, you're really easy to make laugh. Can you come to everything I do? Um, why does it take so many pirates to change a light bulb? Because they're all too busy arguing. <laughs> Um, I made a giant paper mache single um, about five years ago and spent a, a whole December dressed as an orange basically with a massive candle. There's a photograph, uh, if you did go to Google Images, there's a photograph of me and made a giant paper mache orange out of it. Nathan's eyes went down at that point. I think there might be some research going on. Uh, next question. <laughs> Uh, what would happen if the whole world commits sin? The whole world has. Easy answer. We're all messed up. We've all messed up. Every single one of us. Every single one of us is a complete mess up. Alright? Um, but the whole point is that we're often forgiven, which is brilliant. Brilliant. Next question. What's your favourite pizza topping? Oh, um, uh, pepperoni, spicy beef. Extra chilies and anchovies. I love anchovies. I know everyone knows because I. Well, it's fine, I really like, obviously I really like it, I love being centre of attention, but when you're like, 
in, um, we were out for lunch the other day and eating a sandwich and some chips in a pub and there's some people sat across just taking pictures of you eating chips like, <laughs> like what do you want a picture like that for? We'll just ask. And when you want to go through the BBC you get like proper like paps and people like, Kate, Kate, and they'll be like, Reverend Kate, Reverend Kate, and we can just call me Kate, it's fine like that. And so you try to like walk and smile at the same time like that. Oh. Right, this is a really important question, really serious. Do you like pineapples? Not on pizza. Well, we don't go on pizza. In general? Yes, I love pineapple in general. In fact, I once went to a beach party uh, where you had to go dressed like in an outfit for the beach and everybody else went like shorts and a t-shirt. Oh, and it's pineapple. <laughs> Why were you? Is that on Google? Uh, I think it is, yeah. I've found that one as well. Um, the last one. It's not all my fancy dresses are fruit-based, by the way. It's not like a theme. <laughs> 